I think I think Matt is suggested Nick to go first. Nick was chosen. Yeah. No specific role, so like, does anyone really want to shout out a role really quick? I mean, you see a whole uh, lot of dialogue in here. But... Choose the uh, oh, voice about... you would uh, think fits this reading. How about night night? Best. How about night night? Yeah. Night, night. There we go. I'm okay with Night Night. Okay. What is the Night Night? Night Night is a, a, a person who says farewell. Yes. Yeah. I say farewell a lot. One of the enemies in Undertale. Oh, Night Night. Yeah, that, that one. Night Night. Alright, I got the voice down. Let us begin. <clears throat> Should I read the author's note? Really? Yes. Quick. All right. <clears throat> author's note. Just some more. Oh, dear God on Jesus Christ. A it's word I cannot lady. pronounce. May I say farewell oh, now? Miss Lenny. Okay, Miss Lenny. Uh, retake, retake. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a good start. Yeah, like, went to the center of the guy. Everything. <laughs> uh, All your leave it voices. To Leave it to my lower lack of the English vocabulary to mess up the entire reading. You're welcome, and farewell. Okay. Uh, just some... Mm, God damn it! Miss Eleni! Miss Eleni! Miss Eleni! Miss Eleni! Just skip the author's note! I'm skipping the author's notes. We can't get past the farewell! But you have to say the... Da da da! Uh, uh, There's a page break. You gotta. Re- you forgot about the page breaks. Um, How do you pronounce the page break? Dun dun dun! Da da da! I like that. Oh, oh this is humor parody. So now I understand why this doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Sirius Black walked into his Ministry of Magic on his second day of being interim minister. I'm going to pronounce, yes, I will leave it at that. He didn't intend to stay all that long, just long enough to inject some humor back into Britain and fix up a number of problems. He settled into his new office and and crashed into the floor like a dead fish. (coughs) He settled into his new office and reviewed the previous day. Oh, dear. As Azkaban destroyed. Check. Dimini- uh, dim- mm. Dementors. Dementors. Dementors gone. Whoop. Dementors gone. Check. The hint of responsible governance in, uh, reintroduced into Britain. Check. Day one had been a success. He looked at the list he and Harry had compiled after the European Magical Union and Sirius, uh, asked Sirius to step in as interim minister. The first item was rather severe. Issue number one, the ministry is broke. In part, this was Sirius's problem because he had been awarded all of the ministry's former uh, monetary assets as a settlement for wrongful imprisonment. So it was only right that Sirius get it right. What? Yes, okay. Redundant is redundant. (laughs) However, Sirius wasn't giving it back. He had planned he had planned. He had plans for this. Oh yes, <laughs> he had so many plans for it. He said it three times. Oh yes, that many gallant. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes, that many gallions could create a truly impressive mud wrestling arena, and pay for many, many beautiful witches to compete. Oh wait, wait, yes. Wait. <laughs> Still, the no, ministry not, was that's not in the paragraph, is it? No, it actually is. Oh my God! Farewell, society. Farewell, mental stable, stable, stableness. Oh dear. Many which is Mint. It's pronounced miscellany. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell to you, I say, Mike. So, <laughs> did he make the mentors extinct? Oh my gosh, hey, Magnus. <laughs> Magnus, you say the word. Uh, where are we now? I think... Uh, I don't know where we are. Still, the ministry was broke. Now, how to raise, how to raise money quickly. Hmm. Done, done, done. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, uh, which, which word was uh, in, in question here? 
the mentors. Did I them the what? No. This is gonna be great. One minute. Maybe we should get Magnus to do the next voice. Yes, please. Yeah. It's a short bit. Go for it. But, uh, where are we? It's after the da da da. The second, uh, page break? Ministerial, ministerial proclamation number 6172. Is that the one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, should I do my, uh, like, normal English voice? Should I do a bad, bad English voice, or should I do something else? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh, ham. Nice. Ministerial Proclamation number 6172, issued by Sirius Black Interim Minister. Cursed object amnesty offered. Is that okay? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I've never heard For the next uh, two weeks, any person may turn over a dark or cursed object for uh, disposal and uh, destruction to the Auror office. Each object will uh, cost uh, 100 uh, galleons for uh, disposal. After the end of uh, the amnesty, Aurors will be conducting uh, raids on the wizarding families to confiscate uh, and fine for the possession of the dark and cursed objects. The minimum fine li 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 levied will be... <laughs> Good to know I'm not the only one with problems. Will be 50,000 uh, galleons per object. Dark or uh, cursed objects include blood quills, assassination rings, or uh, medallions, poisoned pens, soul magic containers of uh, any variety, enchanted uh, singing Elmo dolls, and the bottles of hair <laughs> designed to make what? men look like slicked back Willa. Done! And yes, it's singing Elmo dolls in here. Um. <laughs> That sounds very that, out that place. That's like the sort of thing a, a half blood wizard who wanted to to, to joke on someone would do. Okay, shall I continue with the yes. non-author notes? Smooth. I am in the driver's seat. Mm hmm. Yeah. How do you expect to hit your peak on one tape a week? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mind. heard that completely I'll... wrong. All right. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. There we go. Serious thought. Malfoys and the like have been renting influence from the Ministry for years. That's your what quotations. The... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. This to criticism. Sorry. Boy, uh, Mike. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue reading. Yeah. <laughs> now, let them outright pay for the ministry's operations for the next few months or longer. The Gringotts Goblin would, of course, be more than willing to decimate, decimate the fortunes of families who had long helped oppress and eviscerate goblins' rights. Uh. <clears throat> Pure bloods finally paying for the government they corrupted and abused. Check. A week after the proclamation went out, Sirius watched as a number of dark and neutral family he Heads began trundling into the ministry with sacks and boxes of object. <laughs> Is that one S, you know? <clears throat> Success! Even better was the fact that the wealthiest and nastiest families were currently in the mm -hmm. EMU's custody and would thus not be free to turn into their dark or cursed items. The Aurors would have to would have a fun and easy time replenishing the Ministry's coffers in a few weeks. By then, 
the ministry's normal revenue sources should be back in line, too, especially if the goblins decided to start cooperating again. Sirius smiled. He'd already brought in three boxes of his family's treasures, treasured objects and paid his own fines. It was nice to be an upstanding member of society, well, at least until he decided to have some fun with his dwindling days in office. Um. Slowly back to his office, stopping to chat with a fair number, uh, fair number of the people who worked there. Here. Especially the younger, prettier staff members. Moving on, spotting blonde bombshell stopping, purring, talking, talking, shaking head, feeling his brains melt out of his head. Feeling his, feeling his brains melt out of his head, walking away, feeling stupider, feeling more stupid with every single step. Yeah, but my mayor is having some problems here. Ah, oh, cock. <laughs> Proper reaction. So, uh, was there any problems with the recordings? No, no. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, please just uh, right. interfere okay. if anything is breaking up or something. Then there's no point in moving on, of course, reading. Okay. Where was I? Running away! Running away, quickly. Locking off his doors behind him, hiding behind massive desk. Scared out of his wits. Check. Proof that stupidity was both catching and hereditary. Hereditary at the same time. Check. Wow, such a pretty, wapid woman. Had to be some kind of intellectual succu succubus, draining out of the brains of other folks. That very pretty blonde, which kept calling him Mr. Slender is Black. And she seemed to be sincere in the nice things she said about good old Slenderous, who was simultaneously in her rec reckoning. An, un an unrepentant Death Eater, the present Minister of Magic, the world's leading medical carpet salesperson, a disguised stubby boardman, and a golem fashioned from blue cheese. From blue cheese. She obviously wasn't smart enough to tie her own shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing Sirius needed aside from another dozen years rooming with the Minters, was an Ill illegitimate child father on the mur- <coughs> was an illegitimate- Illegitimate. Oh. Illegitimate. Was an illegitimate child fathered on a moron. The black line needed to be strong, moral, and brilliant. Yes, especially the last part. No dumb witches. He set to work on his next problem. Issue number two. The ministry is filled with imbeciles. The stupid corrupt ones and the evil sword had been arrested by the EMU. But they had left behind the merely stupid ones. Pretty witches working in the ministry were a good thing, but dumb witches working in the hub of government was a recipe for disaster. What to do? Well, be like a black. Be sneaky, flattering, and ruthless. Dun 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 dun! dun. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wait, if uh, returning dark or cursed items costs money, then why not just destroy them by themselves? They wouldn't even pay the fines. Technically speaking, that would just make them rare, and that would just make people want to make more. I would increase their work. Yeah. Whoosh. This is a very political story. Sorry. Mm. 
yeah, I am. Uh, I need a little bit of. I need a break. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I can't read in case the internet will break down. Hmm. Next one. Sorry. Am I to choose again? Yeah. Okay. How about uh, uh, Michael? Or all right. Yeah, Michael Gonzalez. Come on, go all ahead. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be doing it, the river person. Ooh. Everyone, run away now. <laughs> Cover your ears. I was about to say you carry yourself, but you nailed it. <laughs> this is gonna be Tra la la <laughs> Am I a river man or a river woman? Who knows? Who cares? Alright, alright. So I already passed the da da da. Proclamation number 6174, issued by Sirius Black, Interim Minister, Employee Referral Initiative. Give him a large number of vac- va- vacancies. Hmm? It looks like that. Oh, you jumped. Boy, you skipped vacancies. You skipped vacancies. good governance. Uh, so, Proclamation <laughs> number 6173, issued by Sirius... Uh, okay. Good Governance Initiative. But, <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get back into character. <laughs> For the recent recommendations of the European Magical Union on good governance, the, mis- the Ministry of Magic will begin conducting magical aptitude and professional skills testing for every non-elective position for current and future prospective employees. Successful completion of the testing is required for continuing employment by the ministry. Exceptional results will help determine who fills the recently vacated positions throughout the ministry. All tested. All testing will be completed by September 1st. In the future, no employee may be hired without successful completion of these examinations. Bonus points will be awarded but, but to anyone who can successfully break their examination proctor during the exam. Delicious. Ministerial proclamation proclamation number seven seven four issued by Sirius Black, interim minister, employee referral initiative. Given by the large number of vacancies caused by the recent EMU arrests, we will need to quickly fill a number of number of positions. While we expect most senior, <laughs> while we expect most senior positions to be filled internally, new entry and mid-level positions will open up throughout the ministry. To reward your assistance, the ministry will pay you a monetary reward for anyone who recommend and who is hired by the ministry. Contingent upon successful completion of hiring examinations, reward one hundred galleons per position. Plus any bonus amounts, see below. Bonuses! Additional 100 galleons for successful honor and unspeakable candidates! Additional 300 galleons for those who have completed three or more years of service in a foreign ministry of magic! Additional 500 galleons for those who have, one, been a play wizard model, two, served on the Swedish women's Quidditch team, or three, are one eighth or more Vila! <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, yes, an experienced French Vila or... Sorry, the DNA was for- on your side. Yes, an experienced French Vila Aurore would be eligible for a cumul- cumulative 1,000 galleon referral fee. Get cracking! Oh, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sirius walked into a work a week after his latest proclamations. The blonde moron for the fourth level was gone and the entire place was filled with new job ac- applicants. Many of them female. Many of them female. What the hell was that? Many of them female. <laughs> Same as like every guy's dream. I don't so know why. congratulations. <laughs> Who, who can say no to Gary Oldman? <laughs> I don't think we criticized him, but it sounded so funny. 
Many of them smarter than a flubber worm. Many of them quite easy on the eyes. Yes, much better. He mingled in and among the new applicants for a good long while before heading up to his office. He had more mayhem to unleash today, of course, but he also needed to set up some dates for the coming days and weeks. False imprisonment, imprisonment was absolutely lonely work. Veronica for Tuesday, Marajori for Wednesday, Talita for Tuesday, and the sisters who should have been with for Friday and Saturday, respectively. Peter, you butchered all okay? those names. <laughs> I don't remember Sirius being this pervert. <laughs> it's a fan fiction. It's exaggerated. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so bored! Ah! <laughs> my masturbation days are over. <laughs> what? Wow. What, what, what just that? happened? What just happened? <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, said, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Big hey. shock right there. So, yeah, he said, uh, my, my voice reminds me of uh, marshmallow people. Can we go back I to... I said that. I said that. Can we go back to Cornelius Fudge and see whatever shenanigans he's doing? Uh, <laughs> There's Fudge in the pool! <laughs> Now that that is definitely something <laughs> Seth or Autumn would say. Hold on, I'm almost done. <laughs> in, in, in truth, Sirius had to improve on his godson's recent revelation. Harry had allowed a pack of Vila to move into his chateau. An entire pack! Wow. The boy had also revealed that he was immune to their charms, just like shrugging off an, off an empress. <laughs> woof, woof! <Here> you. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Did <laughs> 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 jealousy for his stud of a grandson? Oh no, godson! <laughs> Check. The story hadn't hit the prophet yet, <laughs> but it sure, but it was sure too. <laughs> so, Sirius had work and work to do in the intervening days. Five dates in five days with five women wasn't equal to his entire pack. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> when it gets good, it was it was good to get at least one sea lay back in. Was it equal to a tag pack of vanilla? <coughs> you need a break. No, I'm almost done, Dory. Ugh. <laughs> But it was good to get one sea legs back before jumping a whole body into the chalice. A pack of Vila. Sirius cleaned up a spot of drool in the corner of his mouth. Uh-huh. A whole pack. Politely asking Godson to teach an, uh, an old dog new tricks. Woof, woof, check. <laughs> he, sat, he sat down at his desk and looked at his third... M- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I don't even know. Memorandum. Issue number three. <laughs> Pure blood bigots and idiots are already planning to retake the government. Sounds familiar. <clears throat> what to do? Sirius smiled then and began to jot down some notes. The world would seem understood, understand, would soon understand what a marauder could do with high political office. da 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 Okay. All right. I, I figure that this right. is much the only way this story could be entertaining um, by reading it this way because other than, because otherwise this would seem. I, I, I can't what? hear you. Yeah, I get what he's saying. That these are a lot of just uh, doing some law stuff. There's. More law stuff in, than in the third book of Moses. <laughs> Indeed. Well, okay, I don't wait. know. I, a couple of months ago, I saw Godzilla Resurgence. That movie had a lot of politicians. Women! You want to see a political monster movie? Go see that movie. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Uh, fine, you're up. 
Yay, yeah. fun! Oh, oh, me. <laughs> okay, my family just got home, and so I'm going downstairs so I don't bother them. Okay. All right, I'll uh, do that. I'm, Hold on. I'm doing it. You triple horn oh, snort back. You're doing it. You're actually doing it. <laughs> actually doing it. Okay, where are we? Because Ministry of Voting Rights. Something ministerial voting rights. All right, so uh, I know I know you guys know which voice I'm gonna pick. Starting today, the Ministry of Magic is rededicating itself to protecting all of the magical users inside Britain. Henceforth, all witches, wizards, squids, yeah. and sentient yeah, magical my, creatures. It might be my um. It might be my 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 delay. Uh, it happens sometimes. What what's going on? Sorry, just continue. Oh. I yeah, it happens to me. It, ha it happens often with my friend from Cali. Uh, uh, all right, no longer worried. <laughs> no, uh, a starting, starting next year, pay attention, the Minister of Magic and all seats of the Wiz and Gamat be fully elective positions. At the election, all entitled entities will be permitted to vote, and special voting stations will be set up to ensure each race has equal access to the polls. There's that includes scorpions <laughs> and criminals. E. I, I better. As <coughs> as of this time, sentient magical creatures include merfolk, centaurs, house elves, house elves, goblins. Werewolves, <laughs> and crumpler horned snow cats. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Uh, we dun, need to time that better. <laughs> we need to time it better. Make it like a beautiful symphony. <laughs> that is one very different. One task. two three. Dun dun dun. I'm, I'm sorry, I was kind of off guard. You went too fast. Okay, one more time. Let's go. Dun dun dun. dun, dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was actually, waiting for someone to count. I actually shut up just on purpose. <laughs> what if I count and you guys try to do it? Okay, okay. Ready? Three, Ready? two, one. That kind of worked. <laughs> and I just killed the moment. I look forward to Okay, I'll I'll do that. Not that I know any of your names. Yeah, it's still, <laughs> Just it's still take me. My internet sucks. Okay. Um. Uh. So does does anybody want a different voice now, or uh, you you guys pick? <laughs> well, when I picked, I actually uh, asked for a uh, fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you tried fun. Okay, okay, okay. Serial Proclamation number 6179, issued by Sirius Black Interim Minister. Revised procedure for filling Wiz and Gamut seats? What's a Wiz and Gamut? Wiz to speed on. up the process of filling the recently vacated Wiz and Gamut seats, <laughs> the Ministry is publicly disseminating the process with an axe. Uh, a minimum of 10% of the vacant seats are reserved for non-human creatures. Like, even plants and stuff? Because I, I don't want Henry on the wizard. Probably pea shooters. <laughs> pea shooters. <laughs> well, I hate pea shooters. 
Uh, I'm more of a Snoopy guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a plant, Henry. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, Henry. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like your stick. Yes. <laughs> All, <laughs> All applicants will be required to fill out a free questionnaire. Finalists will be invited to enter the minister of Act. All visiting Gamat members will be appointed to serve until the mm-hmm. next election early next year. And at the beginning of next year, date to be announced, all Wiz and Gamut seats will be open to, for direct election. All persons and creatures of the age of 17, ah, dang it, who have not been convinced, convicted of felonious conduct will be permitted to stand for election at that time. The 40 seats will be divided up into districts. Hogsmeade residents will be able to fill four residents to the block lock A, one, and residents of the uh, Forbidden Forest, three, near permanent residents of Hogwarts Costle, five, and uh, at least uh, three for house elves. Uh, let's see, uh, Godric's Hollow, three, uh, the Otter of St. Catchpole, two, uh, so there are two Otters of St. Catchpole? I don't... Fine, I guess. We'll have Otters uh. votes. Whatever, if we're talking about sentient. Loose term. Lon- London area and, uh, diagonally. Diagonally. Diagonally residents. Di- diagonally. Diagonally? Thirteen. Yes. Uh, they get 13. Uh, that's That does not bode well. At least two for goblins. Two for house elves. Uh, house elvis. House elvis gets two votes. Uh, we would give him three, but um, the goblins <laughs> did, did, don't like elvis for some reason. Uh, <laughs> and, all, and all other territories within Britain will be divided up equally population-wise to the last sentence, and permitted a single representative. The final listing of districts will be published not less than two months before the election. Does anybody want me to just do a really uh, silly voice? Sure. I'm, com- I'm completing this. No, I'm just going to... She's determined to do silly. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll okay, I'll stop asking people anything. All right. Seats vacated during a term of office will be filled by appointments of the Minister of Magic until the next scheduled <laughs> election. At which point, all seats become vacant again. Elections will be scheduled at the minister's discretion at least every three years. If not more frequently, elections need to be announced 45 days before they are to occur. Or... <laughs> That's awesome! I'm loving the voice there! Here it does speak. I actually do Top some not. voice Merida in a project. <laughs> this is funny. Alright, um, for reference, Ways and Gamut nomination questionnaire. I need your name, I need your address, I need your CC, <laughs> and I need your beliefs. Does even a figure of flesh and even blood even count? What? What's this about blood? <laughs> yes, I have a type C blood. Do you believe that? <clears throat> you believe that? Then give it to me. <laughs> Alright. Okay, okay, here you are. <laughs> Identify your fo- your top five goals in the next year as a prospective member of the Wizard. Identify your three top political heroes. Do not cite Marlin, please. <laughs> uh, That's a completely different series. <laughs> Merlin does exist in the Harry Potter world, but yeah. No, no I know, I know. <laughs> I know. 
I just I just have to be the resident Harry Potter nerd and tell all of you guys when you're right wrong. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Describe I three just, yeah. political villains of recent history and explain why you would name them so. Your thoughts on Voldemort and Severus Snape and his uh, greasy hair and terrible nose in particular are welcome. What are your opinions regarding wizarding blood status? Feel free to burn your application if you're tempted to write down the word mud blood. Uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, and, and just be honest. Be, be, tell the truth. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll arrest you if you're a racist. Explain your official philosophy. You are hearing a case of official bribery at a Wiesingamot member. A Wiesingamot member is being bribed. Oh, where the evidence clearly shows the person's guilt. How do you react? What punishment, if any, do you think appropriate? All right. The correct answer is kill them. (laughs) (laughs) Tasty points from Gryffindor. Hey, hey. hey, uh, Violence is never the answer. Well, sometimes it is, but not when it's about people who want to eat. <laughs> yeah, violence is never the answer. Uh, a point system where you pit children against each other for seven years is. Violence is never the answer in reality. Otherwise, it makes perfect television. Hey, um, so I'm going to be AFK for a bit. I have to go clean up there for my family. All right. All right. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll probably... You'll probably still be reading by the time I'm finished. It's going to take me, like, 20 minutes or so. Okay. Okay, no worries. Okay. I'm just going to be elevator lady. Actually, identify any felonies you convicted of committing. If any, feel free to burn your application. Uh, identify the steps you took once Voldemort's return was made public. If your action was to... Don a mask. Please prevent, present yourself to the Auror office for a special early interview. Uh, identif- and, and, of course, get your, matter, your, your, your personal affairs in order. So, identify the ways in which you and your family earn money, including investment income, and list the invent- investments. Uh, if if more than 10% comes from extortion, embezzlement, bribery, or other like tactics, please present your completed application to the Aura's or- office. Describe the five actions you've undertaken in the last 10 years that you're most proud of. Describe the five actions through your life you're least proud of. Note... The actual parchment for submitting an application is charmed for truthfulness. Writing down any lies or evasions in the parchment will turn completely black and invalidate your application. We will find out. Ready? Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Dun. We will know. Dun, dun, dun. We will know if you're lying. Okay. Mm. All right. Next. Next. Uh, next. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. Uh, um, the, I'm gonna ask the next people uh, to fight for the death for their turn. I don't fight? Know. Oh, gee, that's gonna be hard. Have I fun. Mean, I mean, I'm not Especially a fighter. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I might be at a disadvantage. I'm a green bean, so I can't really fight. Oh, well, green there we go. beans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. About time. You, you missed a good point. You missed a point where we talked about how all the employees were women. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Jay. That sounds kind of hot. Check. Damn check. Okay. It's no. hot because oh, it's a good point. 
<laughs> Have we just gone to a completely different story? <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, I feel like half of this is like is like political documents and half it's like I think, I think we're getting, we're getting to Cornelius' How budget. do you rub a cat I, suggestively? I think we're getting to Fudge's um, personal document he didn't want anybody to look up. <laughs> it's okay, Minty, it's okay. I don't know if they still have Fudge's documents. Uh, Everything Fudge owns is now theirs. Check. Dun 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 That was a mouthful. <laughs> I I've got to I've got to leave I'm afraid. I've got I've got recording to get done. Okay. Oh. Bye. All right, see ya. We'll get and then there was a bye. bye. Oh, who's leaving? Charlotte. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> see ya. It, it was enjoyable while it lasted. Yeah, yeah, it was nice having you. Oh, thank you. You did get to hear Seth. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Yeah. Henry, you shall read. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said Hail and Hell for it. I can find that. <laughs> Henry, you shall read. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Mr. S- <sighs> Mr. S- Mr. S- Wow, we, we've said this multiple times, and I still don't know. Ed. <laughs> Mr. Annual Proclaim, number 6,183, issued by Sincerius Black, <laughs> the administrator. Oh, my God. All right. Amend to the, inter- to the international... St- 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 what? Th- thank you. <laughs> Statue of Secrecy. Alright, so I, no, screw this, it's not worth getting drunk over. As recently permitted by the International Con- Confederate of Warlocks, the Ministry of Magic will now be c- contacting all families of children who who exhibit accidental magic. Not just, not, not just children from mostly or wo- wholly magical families, muggle-born children, or magical children from... <laughs> Wibble lines? Good lines. Will now be included in the secret as early as possible and given materials so they may learn of their of their heritage. Include how to access further resources in Diagon. Diagon, thank you. Diagon Alley, they will also be welcome to attend any of the public primary schools run for magical and squibble children. Violation of the secret will continue to be partial up to and including total obl- obliviation of the secret. Dun dun dun! dun, dun, dun. We are done! Shocking. Alright. Uh, ministerial Proclaim number 6184 issued by since Serious black <laughs> administrator. Um, it, and I just forgot how to say that again. I, I know. Right. Fair warning, I am a bad reader. Amend to reasonable restrictions for underage magic. All one possessing magical children between the ages of 10 and a half and 17 will be permitted to perform magic in their own homes or in design magical areas. Such as Hogwarts, des- thank you. Designated <sighs> such as Hogwarts, Hogs, huh? Hogs to me. He's had this one. Yeah. The uh, Diagonal Alley or Nocturne Alley, so long as no Muggles not not privy to the secrets witness the activities. Any violation to the international system. Statute of secrecy by an underage witch, by an underage, by an underage witch or wizard will result in these increased penalties. First offense: one hundred gallons of fine and a public spanking. Well, I don't understand why that has to be public, but I guess they got to get their point across anyway. Miss, Miss. 
misdemeanor, <laughs> second offense, 300 gallon fine, and 40 hours of community service, plus public spanking on three separate days. Misdemeanor. Third offense, 700 gallon fine, 100 hours of community service, confiscation of a wand for 30 days, image pu published in all ministry buildings with on the identifier as public idiot, Mi misdemeanor. Fourth offense, 2,000 gallon fine, loss of wand for a year, 15 days of ministry holding cell, 300 community servers cleaning muggle... Let's read felony. Fifth offense, good good god, they just keep going. I, I think by the fourth one, though, they should just throw you out. Fifth um... offense. Fifth offense, loss of wand privileges, a.k.a. snap to your wand. <laughs> Excel from the magical community. Oh, well. I guess you can make four mistakes. The fifth one, okay, well, you basically lost your hand. Mm. Wait, was, wait, wait, was that snoring? Was that snoring? <laughs> kind of. I wonder how the person who wrote this <laughs> um, stayed away with their keyboard. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> it's... I've come to expect someone has will eventually fall asleep to my blabbering. <laughs> All right. It's uh, not no, you. It's the story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should I should I switch voices? All right. Uh, yes, something super super active. Uh, should I do the? Be like a rabbit, man. Just these big like rounds, buddy. So, what? Ah! What happened? I should I, I should do the goon voice, but I'm incredibly rusty, and it's just just be super active, man. Oh, I think I have one. The ministry will also be clearing away a small section of the former tart tin tart alley to turn into a blue flag burst venue, so that the individual will insufferable space. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the point where your ears fall off. <laughs> Insufferable space as their homes may be, prote be protected with practicing flag and broom sports. I, I don't see why they <laughs> feel the need to do this, but hey, it's the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> the, the, I'm just going to say Q. The Q League has, <laughs> has generously <laughs> offered... To offer clients on queue several times each summer. Oh no. Alright. Several times each summer to, inter to interest witches and wizards. Public announcement full points will be set up in Burham, Lens, Glasgow, cities I've never. cities I have no idea how to pronounce. Oh, that is. Liverpool, Manchester, Bi uh, Br Bristol, and Carsis, so that the underage witches and wizards from around Britain more, may more easily reach Dogatel Alley should they wish to do so. Dun 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 um, alright, uh... Choose your weapon! Do you want to go? Uh, M Monty, a uh, heteristic mm -hmm. actor. Oh, Take yeah. Take yourself up, my friend. Yeah, okay, sure, I can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, He's just so out of it. Which scream voice? every time you start to feel... Just, like, scream every time you're starting to, like, fall asleep. You know, maybe a little bit ah! Okay, so... <laughs> Do you have a specific voice you want? Uh, I know what I want. Uh, magic Jack, I guess. Magic. Yes, and thank you. Ooh, awesome. Okay, I just got chilled down my spine. That was awesome. <gasps> so where are we? <laughs> Uh, we are at number 6185. Oh, one, 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 eight, 
185? Yes. 185. Improvement. Yes. As of today, a comprehensive survey of every aspect of Hogwarts right. experience is being complete completed by each current student. The survey is also offered for opinion gathering to any Hogwarts alumni or alumni. The result of the survey will be used to pinpoint areas for improvement. The survey touches on academic subjects, academic instructors, resident life, and dining. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> dining, <laughs> residential activities, and sports, career counseling, and preparedness, a perfect program, and many other subjects. Anyone wishing to make further comment is welcome to address a letter to the Department of Educational Standards, Ministry of Magic, London. Howlers are not accepted at this time. Delegations from Hogwarts and the British Ministry will be observing the schools at Brooks Pedals, the Peruvian Institutes of Maitis Salem Witz Institutes, the New Zealand School of Witz. Craft and wizardry, the Rasputin Collective okay. of Soviet Battle Magic, hmm? and the Chinese Emperor's Pan Asian Collegium. Officers from each of those schools will also be visiting and commenting upon Hogwarts over the coming weeks. The full results of the student survey and inter school <coughs> visitations will be released by December. <laughs> Likewise. The awkward boards of governors will now be completely elective as of today. Nominations forms will be sent to all current eligible alumni and alumni by all posts. All Hogwarts alumni and alumni who have achieved at least one all are eligible to vote for the 12 members. Board members will serve two-year terms to be eligible for re-election and administer at school. Convicted fellows are ineligible to serve on the Hogwarts Board of Governors. <laughs> the Duke says a bit. They will oversee the performance of the headmaster, appro approve the list of causes, approve the hiring and firing of teachers and administrators, assist in fundraising for daily operations and the development of a school endowment, and approve the annual school budget, but will have the authority to intervene in day-to-day -day operations, just as who receives the detentions or who will be allowed to play Quidditch teams. The board must vote to remove any of its own members shown to have attempted to intervene in day-to-day -day school operations. Such members will be transfigured in the purple warthogs and placed on display for a period of 30 days in front of a magical mat military with an exploratory sign. The Ministry of Magic expects these simple reforms to have positive benefit for our entire schooling initiative. Please, dun, thank dun, you. Dun, dun. Dun. Hey. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he slowly starts to die. Uh. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Ten nice. Geez, the next one. Oh, long. Oh, so we're left. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, um... Pick your next who, victim. Who hasn't watched the next pick? weapon? Everybody's... Yeah. Even the Patreons? I, I can't. Okay, um... Ulla Dulladov, Kinkalari Kov, Konkalari, Kinkalari, Ulla Dulladov. Oh, I've chose Brand. Uh, do you... Did you say that you can't? Yeah. I can't because my internet's acting up. Okay, so it goes to teach. Ah! Okay, I... Mike was on it! He was like, my turn! He became really aggressive. I was just so bored. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so bored. I was just... Oh. <laughs> I can't follow... I couldn't follow along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't let him choose the next f the next fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where where were we? Uh, words. Uh, a Sirius has held his office for four and a half months. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a uh, kite head. <clears throat> it's 
uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, uh, this this uh, extra character's voice is higher than uh, River Person's. Oh, God. So it's like... My favorite maritime moment. There, got it. I got it. Okay, I got uh, it. Ah, <clears throat> kind of cute. Serious to tell this office for four and a half months. It was. It was. It really was the most fun he had in ages. The newspaper despised him. The pure bloods were nearly broken, crying every day. Serious had purchased Malfoy Manor once and came up to auction for back taxes. He planned to turn into a muggle bed. And breakfast. The government coffers were quite flush. Ministry staff had quite a number of beautiful, intelligent witches working here, many of whom Sirius knew quite intimately. Padfoot's favorite, Baggy Style. Ah, oh, they're gone. <laughs> ah, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, ah. I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. It's it's just like all those Mogeko jokes that you guys made. Back in the beginning of this whole chat. And once again, I'm the only girl in the group. <laughs> and why? Uh, there's why? only men. And always... Oh God, okay, like, okay, for, for, if you're going to keep this in the video teach. Fun fact! Whenever there's, like, a little group get-together and, uh, teach and, uh, uh, Actor Viler, Henderistic actor, and Mikey, like, whenever they all decide to, like, do some, uh, Mogeko jokes, like, hey, or whenever stuff like this, it's just like, I'm always here in the corner, just crying silently, because, damn it, I'm still the only girl in a group of boys! <laughs> Why? How do I always end up? It's like... What are well, you trying to tell me? Place. I mean, what it is finally it? got interesting. <laughs> I mean, you should be... You should be... A... Oh, God. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it said something about, like, a cat earlier. No, 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 no. No. I had almost <laughs> forgot that. No. <laughs> no. No more. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Please. <laughs> I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> oh, the cat. No. God. <laughs> okay. No, you're you're not ruining my turn. Ugh. And the wizard gamut was filled with reasonably intelligent, mostly honest witches, wizards, squibs, and creatures. The half elves were learning to be quite harsh with their former masters, and the two centaurs finally stopped gossiping about the stars and really enjoyed the work. The goblin showed off an impressive number of teeth when they smiled and voted for the harshest punishments. It had been rather difficult arranging for a water tank large enough for the mermen. But it seemed so seemed to work out in the end. Harry had been quite impressed by what Sirius had accomplished. The boy was even planning on application to Bolio. D Dilly and Charms a joint mastery. Even while he remained in residence on France, he bought a nearby chateau and second vineyard, fine yard, and attracted a second pack of villa to live oh, in God. it. The boy must have the stamina of the gods! Oh, God! Sirius smiled ever so proud. It was good to be a godfather, great to be a minister. Switching to oh, Seth! Oh, God. Okay, go, Seth. All right, I'm here. <laughs> Please <laughs> save me. Uh, you know what made that whole situation worse? Is that, like, the <laughs> Nighthead's voice was, like, kind of cute. And I felt so sad whenever you read that. That dog, that made me so sad. I died a little bit inside. Alright, so he'd taken care of lots and lots of pesky issues. He'd issued a couple of dozen proclamations getting the ministry out of people's private business. No government had a right to keep an anagmix, an animagus register. Whatever. Sirius smiled about that one. Very few were in, in on the secret of his pad foot farm. Uh, the ministry was also out of the business of regulating the flu... There were 
now three different companies that competed to set up and maintain flu connections. Four businesses now had government licenses to freely make and decimate or sell port keys. And another 40 people had applied for port key creation uh, licenses. The ministry wasn't meant to control all means of travel, just ensure it was safe and reasonably efficient. Are you guys okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought I heard laughing. No, nah, it might be just me slowly dying. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to bring up doggy style, okay? Oh, God. Oh, never, okay. too late. How dare you? Uh, I, prefer Mr- to be, I prefer to be called a broccoli again. <laughs> Continue, Seth, child. The ministry no longer had a department of magical games and sports. Let the Quidditch teams regulate themselves. Bunch of duffers worked there anyways. The department of the regulation and control of magical creatures was basically gutted, as most of the magical creatures can now vote and represent their own races in the wizard gamut. The Department of Magical Transportation now took up two offices, not an entire floor, and that was basically just to test folks for their apportion licenses and regulate the businesses that handled the flu and porkies. <clears throat> the Office for the Misuse of Underage Magic now had a single wizard working in it, unlike the Office for Explaining Magic, which had 17. On the flip side, the Department of Ministries got a new name. Department of Magical Research and Development, and a better staffing level, but they also had to begin reporting on a regular basis the things they learned. Uh, on a regular basis, the things they learned. Okay, their spells and newly invented potions, potions would be sold <laughs> oh, <laughs> to help keep the ministry seriously in the black. <clears throat> The Department of Education Standards had more work to do, what with more muggle-borns to bring into the fold, a university program to oversee. More people than ever started starting up mastery-level work, and Hogwarts finally giving students an adequate, an adequate amount of instruction to achieve excellent results on owls and newts. And the Muggle Relations Division tripled in size as the ministry began to work more and better with the larger world outside it. Change was good. Change was fun. That was the last message Sirius wanted to leave behind. It was his last day, and he had to he had but two more proclamations. Ones he'd really be remembered for. Issue number five, the Daily Prophet was truly out of control. Issue number six, a lot of good people are still hurting for the first and second Voldemort insertions. Uh, thus, Sirius decided... Uh, one proclamation to deal with fixing up that slanderous rag, the Daily Prophet, the other one was a nice little boon, a bit of charity, a bit of fun, and a lot of mischief. Sending a parting shot heard round the world, check. Check. Done. 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 Yay. Oh my god, you guys, we're almost over. It's almost done. Uh, uh, okay. Industrial we're proclamation almost... number Next six, one, one ninety eight. Oh. Yeah. All right, go for it. Poor Mike. You will have to find a way to concentrate. Ready? (coughs) Doggy style. Ready? Die! (laughs) Okay. Okay, man. Ministerial Proclamation uh, number 6198, man. Issued by Sears Black, Interim Minister, Truth in Government and Media Initiative. To ensure a fair, accurate, and truthful accounting of government action and policies, the following policy is enacted. All government employees must give the full, complete statement to the news media and thing. Or state, I decline to answer your questions and explain the grounds on pain of fine and loss of employment. Government employees may not lie, use uh, half uh, truth or half not truth state to reveal confidential acts, facts or uh, invasively personal information or twist or interpret true facts toward incorrect conclusions. You see, man, any person injured by a violation of the law may place a suit in the Vicen Gamot. The first condition will be punished with a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand uh, galleon fine and a loss of government employees for one year, no, no guaranteed on rehiring. 
plus doing for a month worth of advertisement, showing your face name, convicted crimes thing, and slogan, don't harm me, I got fired for lying. Third felony, 10,000 gallon fine, a permanent banishment from Britain. These punishments are separate from any reparations that may be ordered for the offended party. How is it? Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, see on the TV, TV in the late news, yeah, employees may not uh, print lies, use half-truths or innuendo, utilize quick notes, quick quotes, quills or similar devices, print confidential facts about underage witches or wizards or lions, or utilize true facts without having a minimum of two confidential sources. The penalties of the offenders are first conviction, of 1,000 gallon fine and snap it of one squill. Second, conviction, felony, 3,000 gallon fine, 100 hours of commission service, and three more service right in the uh, whatever column for love and Neri, which is a wizard. Third conviction, 10,000 more gallon fine, six whatever in prison plus 100 hours of uh, more shit work. On the Muggle program entitled The Jerry Springer Show. Fourth conviction, even more again, fine, permanent banishment from Britain. You'll never see in this country again, man. And journalist is considered not guilty of this crime if he or she received a false information of a government source and blah blah blah. Okay. In addition, the responsible uh, copyright and publisher uh, equivalent fine, but not community service. But including Jerry Springer, whatever fuck you man is that is, uh, for each <laughs> offence committed by an article in a publication. You see, injured parties may collect the things from the porters, uh, owners, and everyone else who uh, write this shit, man. <laughs> done, 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 done! Hey, we almost got it. Oh, <clears throat> oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. I, I gotta do the last one. I gotta do the last one. Because I haven't read yet. Mm. Okay, uh, someone actually pick a voice for me to do. Really quick. Nah. Nice and happy. What? Or whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> what did you want me to do? Do, do uh, broccoli. Broccoli? I don't know how to do broccoli. Okay, green beans. Um, which was one of the uh, earliest uh, voices you had in the uh, the voices series with Teach? Uh, that has to be Autumn. Well, okay, Autumn. Yeah. Uh, well, technically, the first voice I had, uh, the first character that appeared I had was Fanha, but I was actually a replacement. I'm just gonna go with Autumn. Okay, yeah. here we go. Okay. Bring it home. <laughs> wow, you're alive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the river person. Oh, it was uh, oh, it was good to be the minister. Sirius had already received a seat in the Harry box. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I instantly regret doing this. Shocking everyone is <laughs> the mute silence. Check. He strolled out of his ministry on the final day, whistling an old drinking song. He had port key to catch and a pack of veal or two to introduce himself to. He hoped the beautiful half birds, half women, had a third pack that would be willing to shack up with Sirius himself. I can't, uh, I can't do that one thing. Give the epic music. There you go. <laughs> He was going to be staying with his godson in France for the foreseeable future. <clears throat> well, you're alive! Sirius had a deep desire to reacquaint himself with the finer pleasures in life. Wine, good food, son, working in the vineyards, maybe a little tutoring for his grandson, plus a pack of villa. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Ah, the lazy days of retirement and Seth. Self exile to stay awake to stay away from po politics for a good long while and the Britain and from Britain generally. Well, aside from coming back for important worthwhile charity events. 
Okay, getting away unscathed. Un yeah, unscathed for with some of the world's best pranks. Check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what show was the autumn from? 